Wrestling Tuesdays for this Tuesday, November 30th, 2021. I am your host, Russ Williams. I'm so glad you could be here today. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm quite aware you could have been anywhere in this world today. I know you could have been anywhere in this world today, but you decided to be here with me, and I appreciate that. More importantly, I appreciate you. So welcome to Transition Tuesdays, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, we have an action-packed show today. We got a special guest, as you can see on the screen. I'm going to introduce this young man here. But before I do that, I will always like to state my intentions. And my intentions are always to give you the opportunity to laugh, smile, think, and engage in honest conversations about your life's transitions. So that's what we do here. And speaking of honest conversations, I have my special guest. And I'm going to read a, a, an extensive bio for my special guest. So hang on, ladies and gentlemen. So... My special guest is a senior in Manhattan College studying business analytics with a minor in communications. My guest considers himself a rapid follower of the Manhattan College basketball and sports in general at Manhattan College. So we're gonna we're gonna deep we're gonna go down deep and we're gonna find out how much of a, a of an avid follower this young man is, okay? He has a background in journalism and currently works for the Manhattan College Athletic Department. And when he's not watching his famous his favorite sports, chances are my special guest is probably tweeting about sports. Okay, so we got a we got a nice millennial here. I love it. I love having millennials on. You know, so he is the sports editor at the Manhattan College Quadrangle newspaper, and he has done extensive research on the Manhattan College basketball program. So again, we're gonna take a deep dive into that. So, ladies and gentlemen, Transition Army, please help me welcome. Mr. Pete Janney to, to Transition Tuesdays. Hold on a second, Pete. I'm going to get this applause button for you. All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Russ. Thank you for having me. Uh, Thanks, you, honored, it's honored to be on your show. Uh, no problem. No problem, Pete. Hey, Pete, I was going to call you Pistol Pete. Are you familiar with You ever heard of Pistol Pete before? Of course. Of course. How can I not be? This will be Meritage. Meritage. Yep. I will see you alone. So yes. uh, to be to be put in the same sentence as him, I think that's a bit of a reach. So we'll <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll uh, lay off that for now. All right. <laughs> we'll go with Janny, right? Do, do people call you Janny? Sounds good. Okay, cool. Sounds good. All right. Hey, so Pete, let me just check the uh see who might be watching us. Oh, we got Felicia joining us from Wow, what's going on, Felicia? Welcome to Transition Tuesday. She's checking in from Lumberton, North Carolina. Welcome, All welcome, right. welcome. Oh, man, man, oh, man. Hey, so, Pete, man, I, I play music for my guests, and uh, I got this I got this tune I'm about to play for you. I think you might. Are you into hip-hop? You like rap? A little bit. Yeah, a little yeah, bit? I, I, I got interest in, in, in different different genres, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm going to play this song for you, man, because I, I like this song. You look like this guy a little bit too. I'm about to play too, so I'm gonna play this. You tell me, wow. tell me, tell me if you can hear it. No, that's a cool. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Hold on a second. I'm gonna play this for you. Tell me if you hear it. All right. Hold on one second. Here we go. What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in. Can you hear that? Are you familiar with with Jack Hollow? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, I played, I was like, you know what? Uh, so I look like Harlow? Just a little, yeah, a little bit, yeah, especially with the hat on, absolutely. <laughs> I like that. There you go, there you go. Hey, so what, what type of music do you like? What what type of beat does Janny listen to? You know, I listen to, you know, rock, classic rock. Oh, okay. Uh, I, like, I, I kind of like, so I like, I do like a little bit of rap, so. Okay. Um, Kanye, a little Kanye in there. Mm -hmm. Um, Jay Z, okay. Um, uh, Kendrick. So I, I, I do, I do like a fair share of that. Literally all over the board, you know. Now kind of like modern alternatives, mm -hmm. um, different bands that come in, and um, you know, so kind of old music and, and new music, kind of a combination of gotcha. both. I, I, I enjoy it. Nice. Whether you put it on Bob Marley or you put it on. Mm -hmm. Uh, Rolling Stones, I'll, I'll wow. listen to it. So. Wow, that's good. You seem like you got like this old soul. That's good, man. It's good stuff. For sure, for sure. Not too bad. Oh, Not that's good. Bad, yeah. That's good. Hey, so, man, you know, I'm so happy to have you on, Pete. I, and I know you're, you know, your time is of the essence because I know you're going to be running soon. But, you know, I want to have you on, man. I want to have somebody of your caliber on the show. So, Pete, man, like, I, you know, I usually ask people, and I know you're on a college campus at Manhattan College. So, how are you and your, ha how are you and your classmates dealing with this COVID? Like, how, how do you how do you navigate through it on, on, the, on the college campus? 
Well, well, that's a great question, Russ. I mean, it's been it's been a whirlwind of um, the last really, you know, la- last academic year, and then the year before that got cut short. So it's been been very crazy. This this semester has been the first semester that we've been back um, mm-hmm. together. Finally, it's something we've been waiting for, and you know, still walking around with with the masks and, and trying to keep each other safe. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, people are, are you know we have a high vaccination rate at the school as well. So mm-hmm. you know, we're trying to be we're trying to be vigilant. We're trying to be smart. Um, it hasn't been easy from a, a mental standpoint transitioning from online classes now back to in person. But mm-hmm. you know. Last last year when I was on campus for one of the semesters before I went back home for the second semester, it was it was just a different feel to the campus. You know, it was mm-hmm. completely dead. You wanted you wanted to see some kind of rejuvenation and some kind of renewed hope yep. coming out of of that that summer of 2020. But um, it took us longer than we we wanted it to to, to happen, and mm-hmm. you know we had to wait until this semester a full year later. But I'm just so happy we're back and. You know, we're enjoying our extracurriculars. We're enjoying trying to enjoy our studies. That, that hasn't been easy. It's been yeah. it's been a challenge to, 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 to juggle everything, and then also you know going going to watch the sporting events and, yeah. and whatever else we do. Um, you know, spending time with friends. So it's been really refreshing to be back, and I'm I'm mm-hmm. so happy I've been able to see people I haven't saw for you know a little over a year. Or so mm-hmm. um, we're not in a perfect state yet. I mean, you're never going to be perfect, but we're right. definitely trending in the right direction and. Um, you know, I think our administration has done a good job trying to keep us safe and, and healthy and happy. So I'm thank, thankful for that. Yeah, that's good. That's great, man. So how, how has it been your senior year? I mean, you, you're you a senior during the midst of COVID. I mean, you down the line, you know, like 20 years from now, you know, when you guys come back on campus, you know, you're celebrating your 20th, you know, graduation date, you know, you coming back and you guys going to have that story of like, you, you graduated in the midst of a pandemic. So, you know, how, how's your senior year going so far for you? Well, senior, senior has been going great. Um, okay. You know, trying try to make the most of it. Like I said, coming out, coming out of junior year was challenging both uh, academically and socially being, being far apart from, from your peers and your friends. Mm-hmm. So being, being back has been great. Mm-hmm. Um, trying to take in my senior year, you know, you don't get this uh, ever again. So just trying to make the most of that yeah. and um, really, really trying to, um, kind of reflect on you know what this what this journey has been like at Manhattan and then mm-hmm. trying to focus uh, my attention on you know what's going to come next whether mm-hmm. it be graduate school whether it be trying to get a job in the industry um, I've actually been been doing some work for the Manhattan College um, athletic department as well mm-hmm. so that's been that's been a good opportunity for me um, I, uh, I, w- I was a sports editor for nearly two years uh-huh. uh, so kind of getting getting away from that has been um, a way for me to kind of reflect a little bit and, and, and refresh myself and I'm trying to look ahead and you know start applying to jobs now so mm-hmm. it's a combination of being having a lot of fun with with uh, your friends and then also uh, taking the time to, to make sure you're you're advancing in your career toward your career goals mm-hmm. so um, senior year has been has been great it's gone by fast so far mm-hmm. got another two weeks before we're home for the break and uh, okay. you know home with family so we just had Thanksgiving it was, it was a great time with my family but Looking forward to be back for a few more weeks, hopefully uh, mm-hmm. um, in, in, in a short amount of uh, time. So it, it's been great so far, and I'm just trying to take it all in. You know, the, mm-hmm. the, there's not a lot of great small communities. Manhattan College is a, a unique place in that regard. I think we have yeah. great, a great family culture. We mm-hmm. have great professors. Mm-hmm. Um, we have really smart, smart kids that go here. Um, we're a very diverse place. Yeah. Um, so, so I think I think we we've done a lot of good things and. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, becoming an alum as well and, and seeing where the next steps are. So it's it's been a fun ride up to this point, and I'm looking forward to enjoying every last second of, of this school year and, and all that I do. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you, you mentioned being an alum, you know, so I'm part of the Manhattan College Alumni Society, so I think it's five years, and then you could be a part of it. So, you know, we'll love to have you, man. We'll love to have some, you know, some some bright guys like yourself to be a, be on board with the Alumni Society here at Manhattan College. You know, we'll, def, we'll definitely reach out to you on that. I can't wait for it. We got the best alums, yep. well connected, that mm-hmm. they care about the students. So mm-hmm. I've met so many great alums who, um, you know, have really gone out of their way to, to really make me feel welcome. So really, really the best people. And 
um, it's a testament to people like yourself and who have done great things for, for the school. So thank you. So. Oh, no problem. Thank you, man. Thank you, Pete, on that. Hey, so, Pete, I know you mentioned about sports and you're an avid fan of sports. So where did that love of sports come from for you? You know, growing up, I, I just come from a sports family. You know, mm -hmm. my dad my dad actually played soccer here at Manhattan College. Wow. Um, which is a fun fact that I tell people. Yeah, my dad graduated here in 1983, Dave Janney. Okay. Um, gra graduated with a, a, a chemical uh, engineering degree, and then he went on to work in um, in finance. Um, mm -hmm. So he, he's a Jasper himself, and that kind of wow. is where my, my appreciation for uh, for Jasper Nation um, came from. I have fond memories of watching the uh, 2014 uh, Manhattan-Louisville game. It was kind of one of my, my earlier memories. Um, mm -hmm. You know, watching Manhattan basketball. By the time Bobby Gonzalez came and left, I was still pretty young at that point. So I don't have, yeah. I don't have too many memories of, of when I was very young. I know one time we went to a Manhattan-Fairfield game because I'm, I'm from up, um, up near Fairfield. Okay. So, um, I mean, I, mean, I live, I live in stagnation over there, <laughs> but, um, you know, so yeah, no, I, you know, from a young age, I've really always appreciated sports. And then when I came to college, I, I figured that I, you know, had this opportunity to start writing about it, start doing, doing research on very u unique topics connected to uh, Manhattan college athletics. Mm -hmm. And it's been, it's been a thrill just to get to meet different people connected to the sports. And it's really made my, not only my knowledge of sports, but my, my love, most importantly, my love for it um, grow during my four, four years here. So it's, mm -hmm. it's been a love that I'm, you know, first started watching then writing and then who knows where, where I'll go next, but I, uh, mm -hmm. at sports will always, will always have a, uh, a place in my heart. So that's for sure. Mm -hmm. And speaking of sports there, Pete, I know you mentioned that like, you, you have that love and that passion for like Manhattan college athletics, you know, and basketball in particular. So, you know, I, you know, um, you know, me playing, me being a Jasmine playing at Manhattan College, you know, I have that love for, for Manhattan College as well. So, you know, how was it when you wrote for the paper and, you know, you were a sports editor and uh, did you deal a lot with the student, the, the student athletes at the time when you were, you know, at the paper doing that or? Yeah, so I came in, I came in in fall of 2018, my freshman year with okay. no, no journalism experience. So I kind of just went into the, uh, um, went into it and, and, and ended up loving it. And I've gotten to do a, a ton of different stories, whether it be feature stories, as I kind of alluded to before, mm -hmm. or doing game, game recaps. So um, within, within those stories, though, it has led me to meeting a whole bunch of different student athletes from all uh, different walks of life here at Manhattan. We have, we have a really special group mm -hmm. of student athletes who uh, take, take school very seriously, fortunately, and, and do well in the classroom, then also um, perform well for us as well. So getting, getting to see that unique side of them, that vulnerable side of them in, in, in interviews and, and, and them being honest and giving their thoughts on um, their team and their maybe academic responsibilities, just getting a, a, a look into the life of a student athlete has really been fascinating. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I always wonder how it's evolved since uh, when when my dad was here, when when people like yourself, Russ, were here, and yeah. um, being a student athlete obviously is a unique opportunity, and uh, it's been a thrill to to watch these these students grow, and and most importantly, tell their stories and, and trying to propagate them on uh, social media, um, mm -hmm. you know, whether it be you know through the Quadrangle where I was writing or doing some stuff now with I'm, I'm helping Go Jasper's website a little bit, so oh good, um, it's 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 been a it's been a very fun. Uh, time getting to know these student athletes and and um, you know I feel like I've learned so much from them and in those interviews have definitely been meaningful and it's something I'll carry with me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Pete, you know I know we're gonna we're gonna talk about Manhattan College hoops in a bit, but I, this is a sidebar conversation I want to have with you, especially with somebody who's there now at Manhattan College. Pete, what do you think of the new mascot? Wow. <laughs> us to go uh, in this direction this <laughs> Let, let's go there pete let's go there man let's go there. Let's go there. so you know I, i'm not the biggest fan i right. think um, I, 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 I like the concept i like the idea of, of trying to, to bring a, a brother jasper mm -hmm. i mean russ we, we got we got brothers still who live on campus obviously in the brothers community so we could just pull out one of them for our mascot almost yeah um but yeah for, from from in terms of the actual costume and stuff i think I think it's funny, you know, right. when it comes out and, and it's dancing. I think, for the most part, a lot of people um, 
have mixed feelings on it and yeah. sometimes not great great thoughts on it. And right. I think I kind of fall into that category. Joe, I would have liked to have seen uh, a little bit more creativity out of, out of the, the costume wardrobe for, for Brother Jasper. Yeah. Um, they, took, they took a leap of faith, and I give them credit for it, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I wanted to get your thoughts on it, you know, especially somebody of a younger, you know, generation, like, because I know a lot of people, you know, who I know, <laughs> I guess, they, they, they're struggling with that process, you know, of, of the mascot. And actually, I was there during the meetings when they had a, when they brought a marketer in. And, um, you know, we were going over the different concepts and the different designs. And and I think the one they chose wasn't one that was too keen in that group that time. But I guess I guess my minority rules, I guess majority rules, you know, one, it might have been one of those deals. But uh, it, seems like, it seems like the student who's, who's in the costume is having the time of his life. So yes, so that's yeah. true. That's true. Shout out to him. Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> no doubt about it. Hey, so, you know, we want to talk a little bit about Manhattan Hoop. So what do you know about Manhattan Hoops? I mean, you, you, you've you grown up in it, I guess, you know, as Manhattan College. So, like, you, do you have any fond memories of, like, you know, dealing with, you know, individuals who played at Manhattan or, like, you know, watching any particular games that might have, you know, stood out to you? Yeah, well, I, I like to think I was kind of baptized into it, if, if you want to call it that, my, my freshman year. So that was when I really... I really got a, a full look at it and, and started going to games mm -hmm. um, my freshman year. And, of course, that 2018 Battle of the Bronx was yeah. was a game that I'll never forget. I had my family come down. Mm. Um, I was covering – it was one of my first – still at that point, one of my first games that I was covering. And wow. we ended up losing losing on a, a Nick Honor buzzer beater. Yeah. Um, he went on. He went on to transfer to Clemson. He's doing great over there. Nick Honor beat us on a buzzer beater. And it was, wow. it was a heartbreaking loss at that time because – you never want to lose the Battle of the Bronx, but that game was also in in you know mid mid December. I think it was like December December 11th or whatever it was. So yeah. at that point, you're starting to get prepared toward conference play. This mm -hmm. year, we have the conference play starting a little bit earlier. We got a we got a game at CN on Friday, so they're they're starting it in early December, and then we're gonna go back, obviously not conference. But at that point in time, it was a bit of a, it was a tough pill to swallow against the Fordham team who um, didn't particularly have high ambitions as well, but. Just the whole atmosphere, I was really blown away from that game. Um, going fast forward to uh, March of 2019, I had the chance to go to the MAC tournament for the first time, mm. which was held in, up, in, up in Albany that year. Mm -hmm. And um, we ended up advancing to the quarters, and we played against Canisius. It was it was a hell of a game. We, you know, it was a game we should have won. We mm -hmm. didn't trail until we didn't trail in regulation. They ended up tying it at the end. Mm -hmm. Warren Williams had an incredible effort. Twenty. 28 points if I remember correctly and uh, we ended up falling to them in overtime and it was it was it was a tough loss but it was it was something that you could like see this freshman the freshman that they had at that point so it was Warren, Samir, mm -hmm. um, Elijah Buchanan at that point Tyke Green before transferring out but yeah. these these three guys the first three guys I mentioned you know you were hope, hoping that they were gonna you know grow together over the years and here we are now yeah and then just a few weeks ago Russ we had it we had another great battle in the Bronx um, and it was it was exciting because that was my first actual um, Manhattan game back here at Dratty wow. um, since since um, basically since the 2019 2020 season uh -huh. uh, before the pandemic started so getting back there um, and, and seeing and seeing the team and get that big win over Fordham was a was a close game. We ended up coming back at the end. We were trailing for all but thirty seconds at the end. Yep. And that was a huge win, huge huge for our momentum, huge for our, our new transfers on the team, huge for our confidence before going to Old Dominion. Unfortunately, we we lost there, and then and then pulling out those two wins down in Orlando. Mm -hmm. So that was great too. And I, I'd be remiss if I don't mention the uh, 1995 25 year anniversary game in mm -hmm. February of um, 2020 before the pandemic when we had Fran yeah. Fran and the boys back. Oh, um, okay. Honoring them. Oh, so you were there. You were there at that actually. Uh, that yeah, honor. I was, there. I, was, I, was sitting, I was sitting at the. Uh, on press table over there so i got oh. i got a really close view of it all and it was yeah. it was great seeing fran back in the building yep. uh chris williams a, yep. ton of, a ton of great great alums mm -hmm. um back mm -hmm. and well chris is always there but a, a, a yep. lot of these guys came back and it, it, it was great seeing them all together it was it was a great great time honoring that 25th anniversary team one of the best yeah. best best teams to ever do it for for manhattan manhattan basketball so those are a few memories that stand out hopefully 
get some more going here in, in the next couple of months. So. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. No, that, yeah, those, those are great thrills, especially that 95 team and, and all those players and coaches, too, that came back for that event. Because actually, I was in the house that night, too. I was I was watching the game, you know, just watching it, too. So, yeah, that, that was a great team. That was a great, great team. Hey, great so atmosphere, too. Yeah, so. It, it really was. It really was. Yeah, it was very festive, very festive attitude, you know, atmosphere as well. Hey, so, Pete, man, I know you, you know, you being a senior, and the question I'm about to ask you is kind of almost like a – like an interview type of question, so this is good. This is this but this is good practice for you, Pete. All right. So, you, and so, um, why, um, what, what do you think you want to get into after college? You, I, I know you mentioned journalism. Do you want to be a journalist? So, so out of school, I, you know, right now, I, my plan is not not to go into journalism at least mm-hmm. yet. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try to try to work something with my business analytics degree. It was only it was only a degree that um, a major that the ad at Europe and had. I, I believe only a few years ago before I, I came here, and it's wow. it's really great. You know, working working with with numbers, working with a, uh, analytics statistics, mm-hmm. um, trying to analyze the, uh, big data and make decisions for um, the betterment of companies and um, just the processes that that go into it and. You know, I've never really, you know, I've, I've been an analytical person. You know, mm-hmm. I think for a while there, I was definitely drifting toward um, the writing and and you know the the creativity that comes with with writing and journalism. But mm-hmm. um, right now, I have my sights set on on trying to land a job within uh, analytics. And there's all a whole host of jobs out there right now that okay. I'm gonna definitely put my hat into and see, and see what happens. And um, you know, but definitely using the the different skills and and, and um, you know different things that I've learned in the courses here mm-hmm. in in the O'Malley School of Business that will be instrumental for for me on my next steps. Mm-hmm. So so definitely trying to make the most of that business degree. I don't want it just to be a a thing that I end up getting and, and not really using it for anything. I want to mm-hmm. see what I can do with it first. So I think I think that's what my immediate focus is on. And that journalism, I can always be a freelancer, which is something that I. Mm-hmm. I've, I've realized and I've, I have a little bit of freelancing experience as well. So. Okay, nice. So you mentioned analytics and like analytics like rules the day, especially in sports now. Like I'm looking like it's really changing college basketball because I'm looking at some analytics and like right during the game, like these analytics are being performed. Like, you know, some guys like the ball on the right side of the court. They like shooting like 45%, you know, the, the right wing or the right corner. I'm like, wow, this is this is amazing. So do you think analytics are here to stay in, in sports at this time, or you think that might change down the line there, Pete? I think I think analytics are here to stay, and I think it's only going to become more a more of a focus on analytics. As you mentioned, there's, there's, just, there's a whole bunch of different – um, metrics that we're looking to, into now that we got we got people who who are um, in all in all the different sports leagues who are looking at different ways to try to gain advantage by studying data as you as you mentioned and mm-hmm. I think I think really it, it, it's here to stay and I, I'm particularly interested in it in the context of of basketball and also baseball too I, I, mm-hmm. I love the statistical nature of baseball um, just the history of it and, and all the stats that have uh, been accumulated over the years. I think it's awesome, and I, I think, I think at the end of the day, uh, analytics is going to be important, and it's already important. It's going to continue to be important, but I think we also have to balance that with with emotion, with with human nature, yep. um, with you know those those coaches who are in the locker room. Those those guys are with the players every day. Mm-hmm. So you know, someone like me and, and someone like you, Russ, we may we may see different numbers on the stat sheet, and we may make different judgments about right. about a player perhaps but it's the coach who's in there every day so yeah, it's, yeah. you gotta yeah. you gotta have faith in the coach um and that he's gonna make the right move and he knows the morale of his players and, and, mm-hmm. and the uh the fire of his players and preparation of them so i think at the end of the day we're gonna need a balance of to balance both the analytics and and the, the human emotion side of things mm-hmm. understood understood and pete this is my last question for you because I know you got to be out. I know you're trying to catch the Jasper's play, so I, I appreciate your time. But why did you choose Manhattan College? Well, I, I chose Manhattan College because uh, in, I think the, the community aspect is, was a huge factor. Okay. I think coming here, like I said, the small classes, the advantage of that. I was looking at some state schools. I was looking at UConn, Purdue, schools like that. And, mm-hmm. you know, you know, those are great schools and, and whatever, but – 
you know, coming here, you get you get the advantage of the class size, you get the advantage of, of getting to, to know meet friends easily, whether it be in the, the dorms or, or in the library or in class. Uh-huh. So I think that side of it was, was really what I saw was advantageous, just the size of the school. And then also the comfort of, of being in New York. You know, I was I live up in Connecticut, so I'm not I'm not a New Yorker, but I'm I'm pretty pretty close closer than than a lot of other states, obviously. Yeah. So mm-hmm. um, being able to come to New York and, and enjoy the advantages and, and the benefits of of going to school close to um, you know the heart of the city was was something that that was something very enticing for me as well. So the location of it, and then also the spirit and the uh, the passion of the students. Like I said, I mentioned the professors are great. So there was a lot of a lot of that stuff that came into it. I know I was going to get a good education at the end of the day. You know, yeah. you're not going to find a perfect situation, but if you can check a few of those large boxes, then it's going to work out. And for me, I'm blessed to uh, have it to say that it's it's worked out. So I'm really really blessed for that. So yeah, that's great, Pete. And you know, man, I you know you at me as a fellow Jasper like yourself, you know, who's graduated long a long time ago, but. The thing is, I, I love having people like you on because you are like the spirit, what, what embodies Manhattan College. And I know for a fact that you're going to, yeah, no problem. And I know you're going to go far, you know, in your journeys, you know, and I know you're going to do well. And I know you're going to, you know, you're going to come back and I'm going to have you back and give us some updates on, you know, how's college life and living on campus, you know, especially during this time frame as well. Man, you know, I, I you know, I'm looking forward to seeing your you know, your growth, man, you graduating and, and you doing stuff in analytics, because there's no doubt about it, I can see you definitely doing that. And then you being in the alumni society, too. I'm, I'm looking forward to that, because, you know, we need people like yourselves on, you know, on, with the alumni society that bring some some fresh, like, life to it, you know, to, to, to the alumni society. So I can't wait to, you know, to, to recruit you, man. I'll be recruiting you hard there, Pete, to get on here. <laughs> for sure, for sure. And you made a great pitch. I, it's something I definitely want to get into, and um, in terms of the podcasting, I'm, I'm learning from from a great podcaster right now. So uh, <laughs> being 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 exposed to another great form of, of uh, media and journalism and, and podcasting. So it's it's been a lot of fun um, to, to do this podcast. And I don't have a lot of experience on it, but it, it's really fun whenever I do get the chance to come on something like this. And Transition Tuesday was just, is a blast, and I, I enjoy watching all the episodes. It's 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 been it's been a thrill, and to come on it now has been. A lot of fun, so so thank you for having me. Oh no, nah, no problem, Pete. No man, and you do well, man. I'll, I'll be working for you. I'll be doing something with you, man. You know what I mean? I, I get to see it. Man. We'll see. I, I don't know about that. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of hard, a lot of hard work, and a lot of uh, you know, a lot of things ahead that I'm, I'm excited about, and right. uh, always thankful for for you know Manhattan to having Manhattan College in, in my corner. So mm-hmm. definitely. Perfect, perfect. Well, Pete, man, I'm going to let you go, man. Go watch the Jaspers. Go Jaspers, man. And I appreciate having you on. And I have you on again, too, man. We'll break down some more hoops and we'll do some more analytical things, too, as well. I like that. Yeah, let's do it more. We'll do we'll do a Jasper hoop segment. Right now, we're losing we're losing 25-19 with seven minutes left in the first half. So we got to we gotta get a comeback going now. Yeah, we got to get you up there, man. You're the good luck charm, man. We got to get you back up there. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, Russ. Thanks, thanks again. All right. Thanks, Pete. Take care, man. All right, go Jaspers. Ha <laughs> ha. Mr. Pete Janney joining us today. Oh, man. Good stuff. Good stuff, my, my young man there. Mr. Pete Janney joining us. Let me get these lights and stuff going off. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if we were able to make you laugh, smile, and think during this broadcast, my good friends, you have accomplished something major today. So celebrate your victory. Celebrate your victory as I get my music going on. Hey! Yes, sir! <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, Transition Army, thank you for watching Transition Tuesdays each and every Tuesday. I thank you for the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for watching us. And. You can always check out our past episodes and this episode as well because we have a YouTube channel, Transition Tuesdays, ironically, okay, is the YouTube channel, and you can go on there, and please do me a favor when you go on there, please like and subscribe before you leave the channel, okay, make sure you do that, make sure you watch the past episode, we got some great episodes from past guests, man, we got some good people lined up there for you to see, so take a look at that, go on there, go to our YouTube channel, 
Transition Tuesdays and knock yourself out and have a good time watching it again, okay? Watch it again and again, all right? And also, ladies and gentlemen, you can follow me on Instagram at Russ Will Transitions. That's Russ Will Transitions with an S. Please do so if you would, if you haven't done so already, but please do so now, okay? And also, shout out to my special guest, Pete Yanni, okay? Pete really broke it down, and I like to get the perspective of someone who currently going into college and how to navigating through this pandemic which is COVID I mean we got some new strands and you know coming up coming up you know it's very tough and difficult for young for young people to navigate through this I think Pete is doing a phenomenal job and and I see great things in this young man's future so you know shout out to Pete Yanny for coming on today on Transition Tuesdays and guest of Transition Tuesdays receive a candy gift pack Compliments of our sponsor, Sweet Candy Cafe. Now, Sweet Candy Cafe is located in downtown Lumberton, North Carolina, and is the home of Southern Sweetness. So after the show, all right, after the show, we're almost done here. So after the show, head to SweetCandyCafe.com and order and get you some of the finest confectionery goods, goodies in the land. Make sure you do that, okay? They also ship home and abroad. And okay, your mouth will thank you later. So make sure you do that. So again, that's at SweetCandyCafe.com. Check it out, all right? We have the young lady, Felicia, who came on here early, who was on here, checked in earlier. She just celebrated her ninth anniversary of store in business. You know how big that is? Some people don't even survive nine seconds, let alone nine years. Sweet Candy Cafe and the young lady Felicia is doing the do. They're doing a great job. And I look forward to seeing her elevate to the 10th year. Okay, but they just celebrated that. But go on sweetcandycafe.com and order your candy today. All right, you may be your mouth for thank you later. Guarantee. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, Transition Army, as we say in parting, happy transitioning. We'll speak to you soon. Take care, everybody. God bless.